It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm missing one very important part of my face, my lashes. That is what today's video is all about. I'm going to be reviewing a new mascara and giving you my first impression and everything, so let's just jump right in. So the mascara that I'm reviewing today is one that I have seen all over my Facebook. Do you know when you log into Facebook and you're just plagued with ads just over and over and over again? It was this brand that was constantly showing up and then my mother-in-law, I think she texted me like, or asked me like three different times, have you tried this mascara? I keep showing up on my Facebook page, I wanna know. And she was telling me that she got onto, fa onto YouTube herself and was watching videos because she wanted to know if it was worth the money. So this is not sponsored by any means. I bought this myself because again, I was getting totally plagued on Facebook with the ads. And the brand is Thrive Cosmetics. This I just bought, I haven't even opened it, but it came in this little bag, and it's actually a cute little bag. It says, my life isn't per perfect, but my lashes are. And it comes in a box like this. So I'm going to use this and give you guys my first impression on camera. So just so that you know which one I went with, this is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It says length plus volume, and it's the Orchid Stem Cell com Complex. So I'm gonna open it up. And on the back, it has a picture of with and without. Not completely convinced that that's accurate, that width, because it looks like, it looks like lashes to me, like false lashes, because it's, it's almost too perfect. If McKinley was sitting here when I did that, she would have gone, that's her thing right now when she gets scared. It's, with her arms, it's actually so funny. <laughs> It's sad, but it's funny. So before I apply this, I wanted to tell you what it says on the box and what it promises because that's important to me is so that I know I'm getting what it says or I'm not getting what it says. It's supposed to be a flake-free liquid fiber technology combined that's combined with buildable fibers, Korean plant extracts for instantly longer, thicker lashes. The orchid stem cell complex stimulates and encourages lash growth and the defining brush comb separates lashes. I'm looking at a picture of this brush and I'm already gonna tell you right now, I don't, I don't like it, I don't, I don't like it. Um, I've talked about before, brushes are really important to me. So it says to use, start with the wand at the base of your, base of your lashes. Words are hard for me guys, sorry. <laughs> start at the base of your lashes and move outwards towards the tips. And then it says beauty with a purpose for every, per every product purchased, one is donated to a help a woman thrive. It's really nice. I can't read today. It's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben, and sulfate-free, and toxin-free. That's pretty cool. So I got it in Bryn, which is rich black, and just so that you know the price, I paid $24, and then the subtotal was 24, standard shipping, $5.95, then tax, so it came to $32.23. All right, this is my first time opening it. I saw a picture of the wand and the brush. I hate those brushes, guys. Why can't, why do they have to be plastic? Okay, I don't like these because I feel like they don't do a good job of getting in there. You know, like really getting getting in there. I'm not gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna apply this without curled lashes so that you guys can get a true feeling for what they do, what this does. Okay, I'm gonna start at the base of the lashes and wiggle my way up. Okay guys, so this is before and this is after one coat of mascara. So as you can see, and I did not curl. So I think the interesting thing is that it added curl and lift, which is always a bonus with mascara because I feel like so often when I curl my lashes and then put on mascara, they go and they just look bad. But this did curl and lift. I did spend a lot of time applying this, like way more than usual. So I'd say, what do you think, like three minutes? Yeah, about three minutes. It's been about three minutes applying. I added some on the lower. Um, I never apply more than one coat of mascara to my lower lashes because they get too long, in my opinion, because I have very long lower lashes, but like so-so top lashes. So it separated really nicely. I got a little bit on my, on my lid and all I did was with a clean Q-tip go like that and it came off really easily. So overall, application was easy. It is still a little bit sticky. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna apply a second coat so you guys can see. For one coat, I, I do like it. I gotta say I like it. Didn't like the brush, but the formula made me not think or care about the brush, if that makes sense. So, 
Let's do a second coat. The thing that I was looking for most with the second coat is you know that when you go to apply a second coat of mascara and your first one's dry, a lot of times it flakes. This one, no flakes. So that's a major bonus. Not so good is that it does start to clump a little bit. As you can see, like right here in the corner, I've got a little bit of a um, little idiot. I don't know what to call it. Like a little nubbin right there. So it starts to get a little bit clumpy, but what's cool is that I never curl up if this still a little bit wet, obviously. But look how easily it just cleans right off. Um, I never curled my lashes and I feel like they look, my, my lashes on this side look decent for not curling them. Overall, I really like this formula. Um, lately, let's see, I don't have it right here, but lately I've been using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Um, this I feel like is a little bit of a stronger formula than the It the superhero because I feel like superhero makes my lashes go a little bit straighter. This kind of just adds the curl to it, a little bit of oomph, and I like that. Um, this reminds me of, of a my cult favorite, which is uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. This reminds me of Voluminous on steroids. That's, that's how I would describe it. So I'm definitely gonna use this more. I think I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think that it is a, a good comparison to liquid um, lash extensions. I mean, for not curling, I I am gonna play around with it a little bit off camera and curl this side and apply it and see what I think. But overall, I think that it's a great mascara. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if there's a product that you wanna see from me or see me review. I ordered another one off of Facebook, but I can't remember what it was. <sighs> what brand was it? I don't know what brand it was, but another one of those ones that I was just seeing ads for all the time. It hasn't arrived yet, so when it gets here, I might do a video for you guys also so you can see um, what I think, but I hope you enjoyed this. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you liked this video, if you wanna see more of these videos, and don't forget to visit me on my blog, angelalanter.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I love y'all so much. Au revoir.